Hey guys, and welcome into lesson number three of I'm Crafted. Okay, repeat after me. I'm crafted to obey God and let Him lead the way. That's right. Well, we're going to be talking about the Tower of Babel today. In this story, the people of Israel tried to do their own thing, and they tried to build a tower to heaven so they could be like God. They were only thinking about themselves and not thinking about God. So God had no trouble showing them that He was in control and no one else is as great as God. We can avoid making the same mistake if we put God first and seek to obey Him rather than do our own thing. Also, don't forget about our mystery letters to figure out our mystery words at the end. But before we do all that, let's sing our songs. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are here. The valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, <laughs> so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. The B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's the book for me I stand alone on the Word of God The B-I-B-L-E The B-I-B-L-E Yes, that's the book for me I stand alone on the Word of God Hey guys, it's Mr. Brandon here. So I'm going to go over another uh, Bible verse for you guys. Another one to remember. For every house has a builder, but the one who built everything is God. Hebrews 3, 4. For every house has a builder, but the one who built everything is God. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 4. Hi Dave, it's me again. Did you miss me? Creator, is that you? Where have you been? It, it's been a week. I know, I'm sorry. Well, what happened? I thought maybe you would abandon me for farm heroes. No, never. I love coming here to build with you. Then, where have you been this last week? Well, I was grounded. My mom said I couldn't play video games for a week. Why not? Well, last week we had a big pizza party. When the party was winding down, my brother and I tried to build a giant tower out of the pizza boxes. Cool. No, not really. The boxes on top still had pizza in them. And when the tower fell, we had got tomato sauce and pineapple and olive oil all over mom's brand new carpet. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it was a big mess. No, not that. I can't believe that people really eat pineapple and 
pizza? I told mom we were just doing real life Minecraft, building something creative. But I guess our leaning tower of pizza boxes turned out more like a tower of Babel. Oh yes, I heard that story. The people of ancient times refused to listen to God. They tried to build a giant tower to the sky. And when he confused their languages, they had to give it up. I should have listened to my mom. I am crafted to obey God, and obeying God means following his rules, and the one of the biggest rule is never build a tower out of pizza. Honor your father and mother. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. I missed you this week. I missed you too. You want to build something? Sure. I know. I can build a tower. A giant tower so high it will stretch from my world into yours. Dave, what did we just talk about? Oh, I'm just kidding. No, I'd hate for one of us to start talking Japanese and then this thing is all over. I can speak Japanese if you want. Just go to the settings on the app and... Dave, let's build a house. Okie dokie fine. From giant skyscrapers to football stadiums to small cabinets, Anything pre-designed comes with instructions. Giant stadiums and towering office buildings are built with detailed plans and blueprints to show everything from where the support columns go to electrical systems to plumbing for every single toilet that needs installed. Furniture assembly instructions shouldn't be nearly as complicated, but as you can see, some of them can be very detailed. A wise builder knows that if they follow instructions, they will succeed. But if they stray away from the plans, they will run into some major issues. God gave us instructions for life, called the Bible, sometimes called the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. When we obey God's law, we will find that we will have much more success than if we don't. That doesn't mean that God's going to give us a big house and lots of money, but it does mean that we will experience the life that God's blessing us to the fullest. Don't build the wrong thing. You are crafted to obey God and follow His instructions. And you will be blessed. Hey kids, welcome back. Mr. Chip here from New Creation Community Church. And I got a question for you. Shouldn't take you much to, to think about. Have you ever been on, we'll say, maybe a family vacation and your mom or your dad, they sort of plan it out. You know exactly what you want to do and where you want to do it and what time you got to be there. And you have your own ideas well or maybe another example is you're on a sports team maybe you're playing flag football and the coach has a game plan on what plays to run you know whether they're run plays or they're gonna be passing plays and you think it should be done a different way well, in either circumstance, who's in control? And what would happen if you go against whoever's in control? Well, we are going to be exploring that today in our scripture reading. We're going to be in the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. At one time, all the people of the world spoke the same language and used the same words. As the people migrated to the east, they found a plain in the land of Babylonia and settled there. 
they began saying to each other, Let's make bricks and harden them with fire. Then they said, Come, let's build a great city for ourselves with a tower that reaches into the sky. This will make us famous and keep us from being scattered all over the world. But the Lord came down to look at the city and the tower the people were building. Look, he said, the people are united and they will speak the same language. After this, nothing they set out to do will be impossible for them. Come, let's go down and confuse the people with different languages. They won't be able to understand each other. In that way, the Lord scattered them all over the world and they stopped building the city. That is why the city was called Babel. Because this is where the Lord confused the people with different languages. In this way, he scattered them all over the world. Now that scripture is sort of a little bit, I don't know, sort of confuses me too. But the thing to remember here is that God created us. And his plan, especially after Adam and Eve brought sin into the world, was to restore us to be holy. But for us to become holy again, we need to do the things that God has for us, the plans he has set forth. Well, when the people in Babylon, or Babylonia, as it was called back then, well, when they, they started building their city, well, they had a, a, a good common goal. But the thing was, they wanted to reach up to heaven, all those stairs, so that they could get to heaven on their own. And that's why God didn't have favor on them. That's why he brought all the different languages and made many nations that spoke different tongues or different languages. Now, it doesn't mean that no one could understand anybody but, if you were in a land, and he made a language like, oh, I don't know, maybe in Spain, where they speak Spanish, or Portugal, where they have Portuguese, that, well, you could understand those from your land, or your country. But getting back to the whole reason God did this is, he had a plan, and they were not going along with his plan. So, that's why he confused everyone. Now, let's think back to the question I asked you. Did you maybe go on a trip, or maybe a family uh, vacation, or you play football, or a sport? And the coach has certain things that he wants you to do. But, oh, maybe in that football game, you decide that instead of a run play, you want to do a pass play. Well, the coach might not like that. So what he may do is change up how the players are. He might change the players on the field. Who knows? And on that family vacation, if you're wanting to go to Epcot Center and you think, well, I'm just going to go there. But your family says, we're going to go to a different spot that day. Well, maybe you, uh, you better get in the right car or your family might just leave you back at the hotel. 
I don't think I would want to be left behind, especially if I was on vacation. So think about that this week. God has a plan for us. Sometimes we want to try to do the planning for him so that we can get to the things that we want to do. But God has the plan set. You have to do it step by step. And that is how we're going to get to heaven. So remember that this week. Back to you, Mr. Sean. Thank you, Mr. Chip. We appreciate you reading the Bible story for us today. What did the people do to make God angry? They were building a tower to heaven. Why did God disapprove of their plans? Because they were building it for their own selfish reasons. How do you think it felt when the people started speaking different language? Well, I think that it probably was pretty frustrating because you couldn't understand each other. Oh, whoops, that's the answer to our next question. Why did they give up building? Because they couldn't understand each other. They were speaking different languages, they couldn't understand each other. What are we crafted to do, rather than do our own way? We are crafted to follow God's plan, to be devoted to God, to read the Bible, to read his instructions and to follow his leading wherever he has us go. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for who you are. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you will help us find our purpose. Help us to follow after you from this day forward. Thank you so much for everything you do for us. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, let's sing our last song. Who loves the Lord? 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 I love the Lord. 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 I praise His name. I praise His name. I praise his name, 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 I worship him, 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 he died for me, he died for me, he died for me, he died for me. He died for me, 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 he rose again, 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 he loves me so, 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 he loves me so. He loves me so, he loves me so. I love the Lord, 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 I love the Lord. The words for today is follow God. That's right, because we are crafted to follow God's instructions and to follow God's way. To not follow our own leading, but follow God's leading. Make sure you dive into the Bible this week. Dive into prayer so that you can follow God and His destination for your life. Thank you for watching. Thank you for learning along with us today. Remember... You are important, you matter, and you are loved so much by God. Have a great week, and God bless.